Hello folks, so this is Geeky doing part 4A. Eh? Uh, it looks like we're in the desert now, and we're supposed to uh, help clear out the area for our desert campaign. Uh, wish I could record a beat background music for this, is it too bad? But this level is a pain in the butt. The music doesn't make it that much worth it. Uh, basically, this level takes a lot of uh, assumptions and yet not assumptions and I'll explain why and there will be a lot on the blooper reel for it. This took me about a good 30 minutes or so just to beat the first part just because I, there isn't clarifying what is supposed to be done. So okay, you see that riverboat up there? See, that's kind of a no-duh part. Now, I didn't know this until later, but you're supposed to blow up the truck and make that lower. Originally, I thought it would manually lower, but no, you have to blow up the truck. They could have let people know that you're supposed to have blown up the truck because, see, there's a riverboat right there, and then there's two bazooka men that spawn right after. You'll see those in the blooper reel. So that makes no sense. Also, here's another thing that doesn't make sense. Now, while I'm shooting this, this is pretty much pretty decent auto aim, and then all of a sudden it ex it changes the gameplay on you, and the uh, and the riverboat acts like a tank. And here's what I mean, right here. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous, stupid and not very user friendly. Why they designed to make that look uh, with tank controls is beyond me. That, that's a bit BS. And that actually killed me a fair bit as well. Not knowing that you're supposed to uh, fire that like a tank. So this mission right here is rather douchey. And like I said, uh, there'll be plenty for the blooper reels for you. Just... Good lord. <laughs> they, they really should have made this a lot clearer than what they did. And see that right there would auto made you auto lose, so might as well just save state. But like I said, th this level, while it had good premise, just you can't expect to play this on a keyboard very well, just due to the really bad controls. They they expect you to use the. Uh, L1 and R1 keys to adjust the uh, turret, which is very strange and odd why you manually pilot the thing. And, um, but anyway, we'll get off on that subject. While I was doing some researching on the uh, interwebs for the uh, S798 thing, and uh, I don't know what they were intending to do. I think that what everybody's kind of irked about and uh, spooked about is the electronic device clause. And I was researching the Title 17, which is which is all the copyright stuff. And uh, there seems to be some other stuff that people didn't take in consideration, too. Uh, what it says in that S978 thing is that they're changing things in regards to uh, basically just some of the offenses and the laws and stuff, but uh, they have no change to the uh, 
believe it is part 107, uh, which is what most LPers fall under. Uh, pretty much the new law affects uh, part 106 and 106A, uh, and uh, 107 is a different fish. And uh, I figured I will do a what's the difference sort of thing at a later date, uh, just kind of to explain it. But I also found some other uh, article laws that are also in effect too that come into play that kind of makes uh, copyright law a bit irksome. So uh, basically, basically uh, like I said, I'm not a I'm not a lawyer by profession or anything, but just kind of the Joe Schmo's uh, translation of it. But I don't know if that, how it will affect LPs or not. Now it will affect the community in terms of uh, remixes and that sort of thing, or YouTube poops or that sort. It will affect them, but I don't believe it'll affect the YouTube community as far as Let's Play, uh, because uh, Let's Plays are considered protected under uh, Title 17, uh, Article 107. And I believe one other article which talks about educational and uh, criti and criticism, which is what I'm doing here. And I I can't remember which article that one is in, uh, but that one's in like I think it's like 110 or 108 or something like that. Uh, so basically. There needs to be a little more clarification on the law, but yeah, uh, I think that other than penalties and fines, it's no real change. Just the electronic use thing is kind of what's got things irked. Okay, weird TV. Oh, sorry, my TV was acting weird. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, uh, like I said, uh, once I've kind of got a better grasp of it and I could ask some people some legalese translations, uh, I might do a, a explanation video. Uh, but basically right now, I, I think that other than uh, like re music remixes, uh, it could be technically still we're fine and A-OK. -okay. Other than fines and penalties, and the electronic use could have been a little more specific. And uh, uh, consider, and I don't know about replays either, if the, what those fall under, but uh, as far as LPers go, like I said, that's considered criticism and educational, so. But it, even then, it's limited, but. Still, as a vagueness of it, it's protected. And I will call it a video here, because uh, I believe we're at the tail end of it. Yep. So, uh, later.